Adding beads into a project may not be as simple as you think, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can incorporate beads into a flower bracelet pattern. Nicole here from Bochi Not Macme and welcome to our DIY Macme flower bracelet with beads. What really makes this pattern stand out is the use of two different colored cords to make the flower daisies and also incorporating beads into the flower daisies to add a bit of interest. For certain cases, if you just add beads to a pattern, it may not turn out the way you want it to. For a knot pattern like the daisy pattern, you do have to consider certain things in order to incorporate beads into that pattern to make it look nice. And I will show you guys how to do that and much more in this video tutorial. And I can't wait for you guys to get started on making the perfect spring summer flower friendship bracelet. And with that said, let's jump right in. For this pattern, you will need some one millimeter string and some five millimeter beads with a three millimeter hole. This string is our 1.5 millimeter two ply string from our rainbow cord line. I'm using a light pink color for the daisies and then a green color for the anchor cords inside the daisy and also for the square knots. I find one millimeter string is a great size for jewelry so that you have a nice small micro macrame bracelet. I will also be using these small five millimeter diameter beads with three millimeter hole. If you're interested in any of these materials, I'll post links to them in the video description below. To begin, we are going to take our two strands of 70 centimeter long string in the first color, and on one end, we're just going to tie an overhand knot. Now we're going to crisscross these cores on top of each other so that you have a little loop at the bottom. Then with two strands of 200 centimeter long color number two cords, we're going to fold each one and a half and attach them onto the bottom loop here with reverse lax head knots. You can see that we have a certain amount of space between the overhand knot at the top and where we started the pattern here. Because we are making an adjustable bracelet, you do have to leave a certain amount of space there. Recommended space is approximately nine centimeters. We are going to start on the right side first with the right two cords. So I'm just going to separate out the left two cords and the right two cords. With the right two cords and using the green cord here always as the anchor cord, so the far right cord, we're going to take that second cord from the right as a working cord for two vertical Lark's head knots. 
when making vertical arcs and knots, you start with over through the right, and then you finish off with under the anchor cord and through the right. If you've made the knot correctly, you should see a small little loop on the right side. And then now we're going to repeat that same pattern again. Now with the left two cords, we're also going to make two vertical lock set knots. Start by going over through the left and then under and through the left and repeat. Now with the middle two cords, we are going to thread one bead through. Now we're going to crisscross the green cords and then now with all of the four remaining pink cords we're going to make half hitch knots onto the middle anchor cords. So taking the far right cord, bring it over and through the right side for a half hitch knot. Then do the same thing on the left side. Then with the middle two cords, we're just going to split them in the middle, bring them over through the middle hole and pulling the cord ends to the bottom. To fully tighten the pattern, pull on the anchor cords on both sides and then re-tighten the vertical pink cords. Now we take the green cords as working cords here for a square knot with all of the pink cords in the middle as anchor cords. And now we start this pattern all over again by crisscrossing the green cords on top of each other.
Then attach all four vertical paint cords onto the anchor cords with half inch knots. And now you can finish off the rest of the daisy pattern just like how we had completed it above. Now that we have made two daisies, continue repeating the same pattern for a total of eight daisies. Now we're ending the last daisy without a square knot. The rest of the daisies have square knots in between. And then you just want to check here just to make sure that the bracelet fits all around your wrist. So it should fit nicely. If there's still a small little gap left, that's okay. We will be adding a small pattern there so that the bracelet is adjustable. But if you do want to make a larger size bracelet, you can continue adding one or two or three more daisies until you have a comfortable bracelet length. There is enough cord length here to make a few more daisies. For now what I'm going to do is with the pink ends at the bottom I'm going to cut off a 50 centimeter long end. I'm just going to take both cord ends and cut off 50 centimeters. Save the 50 centimeter ends for the next part. And now what we're going to do here is cut off all of the remaining pink cords, leaving about half a centimeter of cord ends left. Now use the glue to glue the ends to the back side of the daisy pattern. Once done, tie an overhand knot on the opposite end, leaving around the same amount of space as the end we had started off with. And then now we're going to overlap the ends on top of each other. 
And then with the 50 centimeter scrap cord, we're just going to bring the middle of that cord to the back of the anchor cords here and we're going to make five consecutive square knots. So we're using the green cords as anchor cords, the pink cords as the working cords for five square knots here. Once done, cut off the excess cord ends from the square knot pattern and then glue the ends to the back of the square knot pattern. Do be careful you don't accidentally glue these ends to the green cords because then the green cords can get stuck which would make the adjustable portion of this bracelet not work. Trim off the remaining cord ends from the bracelet and you are now complete with this daisy pattern bracelet with beads. And there you have it, the Macrame bracelet pattern with beads. If you guys have made it up to this point in the video and have completed the bracelet pattern, then kudos to you when it comes to making micro macrame projects like jewelry patterns. There are some new challenges you may face when working with thinner strands of cords, so a little bit of patience does go a long way with these projects. If you enjoyed making this project, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments section below if you like seeing projects like this, macrame bracelets and other jewelry items so that I know to make more videos like this. All month long over on the Bochinat Macrame community on Patreon, we will be going over a fashion theme. If you are interested in learning all about macrame fashion from clothing to bags to accessories, we will be diving deep into that topic over there. So for more details, head on over to patreon.com slash As always, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time.